Mike Griffith here along with uh, Alabama Defensive Coordinator Jeremy Pruitt. I guess we better say that a few more times to get that. And, of course, it might be another week, but also, obviously, the Tennessee head football coach. Coach, uh, your focus this week, though, has been clearly all Alabama, Clemson. This is a third straight game with Clemson. Some keys to the game for your defense as you go up against yet another good Dabo Sweeney team and another great Clemson quarterback. You know, just, just looking at what they do offensively, you know, we've talked about we've got to eliminate their explosive plays. These guys create explosive plays. We've got to eliminate yards after the catch. They get the ball out of the quarterback's hands, and they got playmakers that can make you miss out on the perimeter. You know, we've got to find a way to get off the field on third down. We've got to be much better in the red area this year than we were last year, and we need to create some turnovers. Yeah, no doubt about it. Alabama needs to do a lot to try and stop Clemson. Clemson's had some success. One of the best offenses in college football the last five years, as you've pointed out. A lot of people asking you about why did you stay, why not go right to Tennessee. You talked about relationships, though. Can you elaborate a little bit more on what those relationships means here to you with the players? Well, I think to me it's why I got in the business. You know, I, I started off as a, a K through third grade elementary PE teacher, and I saw what my dad done to the people in our community, the impact that he had, him and my mom. So, you know, that's why you get in the business. You form these relationships, and, you know, you sit in a young man's home and talk about, you know, helping him get his degree, helping him develop as a player, and then, you know, you're right here at the end of the season. I feel like I owe it to these guys to help them finish, to help them get what they want. Yeah, you know, yesterday you talked a lot about playing for your dad and how much fun you had. Your dad, obviously, a high school coaching legend in Alabama. But today, some of the other Alabama assistants saying, you know, Coach Pruitt, he's got a little Nick Saban in him. Some of these things that you, what are some of the things that you've picked up from Coach Saban, maybe uh, in terms of managing players, uh, schemes, things like that? You know, I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of really good coaches and play for really good coaches going back playing. I played for Boots Dunley. I played for Gene Stylins, obviously my dad. You know, had an opportunity to work with Mike Dubose, Bruce Arians, you know, um, Dabo was on the staff at one time. And then working with Jimbo Fisher and, and Coach Rick. So there, I, I'll probably take something from all those guys. You know, I've been just very fortunate to be around good football coaches my whole life. And, you know, you you really, it's hard to kind of predict the future and, only way you can do is kind of draw on, on what you've experienced in the past. And the lucky thing for me is I've been around good men that I can go back and pull something from each one of them. Yeah, it looks like you've pulled a lot of your resources in as you put together a Tennessee staff. You had less than two weeks to get an early signing class. Of all the years for there to be an early signing period, it would figure it would be this one where you, you become a head coach. You're hired on the 7th. You got until the 20th. How were you able to cobble it together that quickly, and how challenging was it to be able to put together what turned out to be a top 25 signing class? Well, it, we've got a long ways to go. That's just the start as far as the signing class goes. But as far as the staff, and you're sitting here and you get an opportunity as a, to be the head football coach at Tennessee, to me, I, I had the guys that I wanted to hire, you know, probably years ago. So been thinking about it. If you ever get an opportunity, these are the guys that you want to hire. So it wasn't hard to put it together. What about for recruits, though? I mean, they know you as Jeremy Pruitt, defensive national championship, defensive coordinator. Now you're walking into living rooms or recruiting these young men as Tennessee head coach. In, in short, and I guess I can't ask you to reveal everything, but what is the, I don't want to say pitch, but what's the presentation for a guy to come to Tennessee right now with a new head coach? Well, I think Tennessee sells itself. You know, Tennessee's a national brand. You know, the opportunity to, to, number one, get a degree. You know, every resource is available there for the student athletes at the University of Tennessee. We're going to be around good people. We're going to put a staff together that's going to help develop them on the football field. And then life after football, the BFL, you know, balls for life. You know, that brand is nationally known, and, and I think that that's a, a great opportunity to sell it to the student athletes when we walk in their home, and, and we're going to do a good job doing that. Okay, I don't want to take you too far off the beaten path because I know where your folks is at, but I do got to ask you, when you looked at Tennessee, what was the priority for the class? No more Tennessee questions after this one. I know, where, I know why he's here. Everybody knows why he's here, but I got to get this one in. You know, probably the most important thing is, is finding – just good football players that, that pass our criteria, the things that we're looking for, whether it's a, a runner, a thrower, a defensive player, you know, in a short period of time, we don't know much about the team that we've 
we have. So the best thing we could do is go find guys that, that you know, pass the evaluations and that kind of the, the standard of player that we're looking for. Well, thanks, Coach. And uh, my awkward ending here, I have to turn my own camera off here with the button. But uh, I appreciate that, and uh, we'll be doing more interviews with you down here about Alabama Clemson. Hopefully next week, if you get to Atlanta, I'm going to follow you there too. So appreciate the time this morning. Thank you.